Hi everyone. Um, I'm actually surprised that I'm on my third video. I'm sticking to it. I'm going to try to make the video as often as I can uh, regarding the topics that you want to discuss or want me to discuss or inform me about. Uh, today's topic was a suggestion. It was uh, regarding raising a child here in Japan, or at least raising a foreign baby here in Japan. By foreign, I mean my husband and I are both foreigners, we're both Canadian, so neither one of us are Japanese. And I actually wrote a list of things I wanted to say so I wouldn't just get sidetracked. List right here. It's chicken scratch, so you can't read it. So I have a pros and cons list about raising a baby here in Japan. My little one is turning one years old tomorrow, so it's just a year's worth of experience. Now Please note, this is my personal experience. Um, it may be completely different for someone else living here. Uh, so this is just my experience here in Japan with my family and my baby. Um, I guess I'll go with the cons first, which is a very short list, just right here. So even though she's born in Japan, she's not considered Japanese. Um, she's never been to Canada, but she's 100% Canadian. So we had to get her Canadian citizenship, uh, her passport, all those things done. So just because you're born here does not necessarily mean you're Japanese. If my husband or myself, if one of us were Japanese, then she would be considered half and she would then have a Japanese citizenship. Um, con number two, <clears throat> excuse me. She has no blood relatives here besides, of course, my husband, myself. Um, so she doesn't have any grandparents or cousins or anything like that here. So it's just a small little family of three here. <clears throat> Sorry, I probably should get some water. <clears throat> um, but that's not such a big issue. Uh, that's That could be a pro, that could be a con, depending on what your in-laws are like. Um, for us, it's, I guess it's kind of a con, but it's not such a big issue. And I'll tell you why in the pros list. Uh, con number three. Is a language barrier, but that's not just because of her, that's because of us. We are trying our best to learn the language. I'm a little bit lazy than my husband. My husband studies pretty much every day, so he's a, he's a much higher level than myself. Um, so the language barrier becomes a problem when I'm taking him to the doctor or if there's an emergency and I can't fully express myself. Uh, so that's when the problem uh, lies. But I do have a lot of, no, I'm not going to get into the pros list yet, so that's a con. And then pretty much the last one is no help from home, from parents, which is against the blood relatives. So I don't have our, we don't have our grandparents here, all her parents, her grandparents here with us. Uh, we don't have uh, my brother, uh, my husband's sisters, nothing like that. So it's just the two of us taking care of Mocha. But it isn't really. Now to the pros list, okay, because there's so many pros here in Japan. I mean, again, I don't have any experience of raising a child in Canada, so maybe the list would be similar, I'm not sure. Um, but number one, Japan is very baby friendly. I'm speaking in my personal experience, maybe for someone else living in Japan, the city they live in, they all hate babies, I don't know. But where I live, everyone seems to really adore babies, and we haven't had any troubles. Um, People know Mocha by her name. They don't really know my name or my husband's name, but they know Mocha. People have driven by when Mocha and I have gone for a walk, and they've shouted her name and waved her. Uh, girls have walked by us and Hawaii and all sorts of things, and like they just go, "Oh my gosh!" So she's very popular, which is great for us because if there's any problems, people are there to help us. So lots of pros there. Um, everyone knows who we are, which is what I mentioned before. So. If there's a problem, uh, for example, our car light was on uh, a few weeks back and uh, where our parking lot is is not really connected to our apartment building. So you kind of have to know where we live to know that that car belongs to us. So one of our neighbors from like a different street was able to track us down, find, ring our doorbell and let us know that our car light was on. So that was great. We, our battery didn't die. So it's nice knowing. What are they talking about? So it's nice to have people know who we are. There we go. I completed my sentence. That was difficult. <laughs> um, she has a lot of self-proclaimed grandparents. So even though she may not have any 
blood relatives here, there are lots of people around here that are that consider themselves her grandparents. So she's taken care of there. No worries. Um, because of her, we've actually opened up. Um, we become less shy using our Japanese. We need to get things done when we're around here. So we're really amping up our studying of Japanese. We're, we're getting out there. We're communicating with people. And because of her, we've gotten new, uh, connected with more people. We have new friends, new helpful friends. So uh, thanks to her, we're able to get out there and experience more of Japan. Uh, people are willing to help anytime. Uh, I can call up pretty much any one of my friends if I have an emergency with Mocha. That could be now, it could be in the middle of the night, it could be 2 in the morning, and someone's here to help us. All her appointments are accompanied with a friend of mine, which is also Mocha's godmother. So if I have to go to the doctor, Mocha's godmother is there waiting for us. So that's, that's awesome. Just people are so friendly here. Again, my experience friendly in our neighborhood, uh, so we always have help when we need it, so there's no worries there. I say so way too often, I'm sorry. Um, I can also take her to work, so my boss oh, sorry. My boss is really kind and she allows me to take Mocha to work. I've been taking her to work since she was uh, I think four months, four months old. Uh, restaurants here are very family friendly, at least more of the bigger chains are very family friendly. And some of the older establishments too. Like yesterday we had a, an early birthday party for her and um, we had a private room, to Tommy Matt room, so she was able to crawl around and play with the kids there. So she had a really good time and uh, there was actually a restaurant duck that hangs out outside by the pond so she was able to feed the duck. The other kids were all excited and happy. It was just a really fun day and I like that uh, those kind of establishments where I can bring Mocha and not worry about if she does cry, people are going to be like, oh, you shouldn't bring your kid with you here, yeah. you know, she should feed your baby somewhere else, things like that. So it's very baby friendly and I never really have to worry uh, about taking her with me or what people are going to say. And uh, last point here, I mean, I'm sure there's other things I could talk about, but I want to keep this video as short as possible and I know we're rolling into seven minutes here and I still have more things to add on. Um, nursing rooms, nursing rooms are awesome. Now, I don't know if these ha they have these in Canada. Maybe they do. I, I I was never pregnant in Canada. I never experienced having a child in Canada. But nursing rooms are awesome. They have a change. They have changing tables available for you to change your child. They have little curtained areas so you can feed your baby in peace. Uh, it's just a very relaxing room where you can do all the things you need to do for your baby and not have anybody bother you. Not like they will bother you. Not like they would actually bother you here, but. It's great to have those. A lot of malls have them, a lot of classes, uh, like children related stores would have a nursing room. It's just a great place, I think, to have a child. So I haven't really come into a lot of uh, difficulties yet. She's only a year old, so maybe when she gets older, um, there might be more complications with children at school. The fact that her hair is really curly, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see what happens when she gets older. Uh, to end this video, since we did have the birthday party yesterday, I want to show you some of the gifts that uh, were given to her. Um, I ordered her some shoes. They haven't arrived yet. Her birthday is officially Tuesday, so um, hopefully they arrive for her birthday. If not, I'm pretty sure she won't mind her birthday present being her, even a few days late. So I'll show you some of the stuff that we got. First, I'll show you what we got from her post office. Uh, the post office people here, the postal workers here are really awesome. Now, they don't just hand me gifts all the time. I, I give them stuff for like Easter, Valentine's Day. So we exchange gifts, you know, you get what you receive. So this is what she uh, got from Japan Post Workers. Uh, one of the ladies there went to Tokyo Disney Resort. I don't know if it's SeaWorld. I don't really know much about Disney Resort and stuff, but she went to Tokyo Disney. And she picked up some stuff for Mocha, which is really awesome because I'm pretty sure she's there with her family and the fact that she thought about Mocha is, is fantastic. So she got her this cute little Minnie Mouse div. Look at that, it's so pretty and girly. And Mocha's first cute Kaka. Oh look, she's now so cute in it when she starts walking. It's a frozen pattern edition. I think she likes Frozen. I'm not sure. She likes anything with anything with music, so I'm sure she likes Frozen. 
Uh, next we have, this is actually multiple gifts, but I shove into my box of it. So we'll see here. Okay, two things I'm just going to remove. So that's pretty personal. Um, got some gift cards for baby store, so look forward to buying some outfits from Elka. But how cute is this little bib? It's just pink, and uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of pink, but it's pretty common here, so I guess I gotta get used to it. So it's a pink baby doll bib. Isn't it cute? This Hello Kitty bag, which I guess she can carry her clothes and extra clothes and stuff like that when we go out. But this outfit is so cute, and I love it because of the ears. I love anything with ears. Look at that! See, it's such a cute little onesie type thing, baby doll, Hello Kitty edition. So that's that. I got a few cards here. Next up, it's from my boss. Look how cute these little rain boots are. They're a little big for Mocha now, but I think. When rain season comes, whenever that is, she'll be able to fit into these. Hopefully, she's walking by then. And a matching poncho. And I love it as well because it has ears. This is a poncho. Oh, this video is getting a little long. I might have to cut it. I'm so sorry. Uh, I think that's it. She actually got more gifts, but I, I kind of lost them. I don't know where they are. Um, and last but not least is a toy. Oh no, it's the second last because I actually have one thing that arrived on time for her. It's a toy. So it looks like this. That comes this little acorn dude. Hey, little cute acorn dude. And you kind of put him at the top here. And he starts walking towards you. Come on, keep walking. Hi, so. Oh, and he's falling off. And last but not least, it's the gift for me. It's this really cute Hello Kitty. I might as well open it since she can't open it. Little water bottle. Isn't it so cute? Hello Kitty slash Hungry Caterpillar. It just opens like that. And it actually uh, might be too big for her now, but she'll grow into it. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I hope this answered any questions you might have had about raising a child in Japan. Um, I think if you plan on having children here, I think you should just go for it. Uh, the hospital experience is really cool, uh, but that's a different story for another time. If you want to learn more about my hospital experience, just uh, please ask and I'll try my best to put a video up answering those questions. Um, but yeah, planning on having a baby here? Go for it. Why not? The worst that can happen. I mean, well, no, I'm going to erase that part. Sorry. Okay. Have a great one. Bye.